Hello everyone and welcome to my first YouTube tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be helping you learn how to play Carol of the Bells. My cover version is based off of the Trans-Siberian Orchestra version. I have had a few requests to do this tutorial, so here it is. I'm going to be breaking the song up into a few parts to make it easier to learn. I will play one hand at a time slowly and then we'll add both hands together so you can hear what it's supposed to sound like. The song starts in 4-4 time. You're going to be playing a B, E, G, and F sharp. All of those are quarter notes. You'll do this four times and then the left hand will come in. So it goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So then the left hand comes in on a D with your pinky. It'll sound like this. is going to be continuing that first part while you do this with your left hand. So let's try that out. Part two is going to start with your left hand. It is going to be doing an octave on E. The rhythm is going to be one, two, and three. So the song switches to three, four time here. You're going to be doing one, two, and three. So after you do this four times, the right hand is going to come in on the third beat. It'll be playing in octaves. So to play these together. continue on to the next part. And that is when your right hand switches up. And it's going to be playing the melody of G, F sharp, G, E. After playing this four times, you'll move up to a B. B, A, B, So to play those together, and what I like to do with the left hand is add an extra note into there. So instead of going one, two, and three, one, two and three, you're gonna add a three and. One, two and three and 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 one. 
So what that does is instead of the lower octave E being on the first beat every measure, the upper octave is going to alternate being on beat one. One. Let me do that again, sorry. One. So that kind of picks up the pace a little bit and it adds some space in between the melody, which I like. So to play those together. In the right hand, when you go up to the B, if your fingers can manage it, you can do a third on that second time around. So instead of going, you can go. After you do that, your left hand is gonna stay on E your right hand will also move up to an E. I'd suggest using your third finger for this riff. It goes... Cross over. While your right hand is doing this, your left hand is going to start on E and go E, F sharp. with the left hand you can do the alternating notes and octaves which keeps the pace up a little bit let's try that then your left hand moves down to a B with your thumb and it does this little scale here time you'll stop on the G. And do it again. The fifth time you'll do it all the way up. So to do that part together and your left hand is going to play the low B. That brings us to part five. After you do that part, you're going to move all the way up here. Your left hand is going to be playing that melody line that the right hand is usually playing. You're going to use your thumb starting on G. You're going to go G, F sharp, G, E. On the fourth time, your right hand is going to come in with that melody in part two. So 
So to play those together. And this part gets a little tricky, but if you can manage to do it, it sounds pretty cool. While you continue doing that with your right and left hand, you're going to add a note with your left pinky. Starting on C. So your left hand alone is going to be... It's a little tricky while you're doing your right hand also. So that one took me probably the most practice to get down just because it's a little weird to add that pinky in there. But once you do that, you're going to move down with your left hand. You're going to do octaves E. You're going to go with that original rhythm. Your right hand is going to be doing together. I believe. For the final part, you've already played most of this stuff before, so it should come fairly easily. Your left hand is going to be doing the octave E's, playing the rhythm we talked about earlier. Your right hand will be on a G with your third finger. like you could play this a couple extra times adding in different octaves with your right hand just to add a little length and maybe switch it up a little bit so you could go you guys learn it and let me know if you have any questions or other requests 
starting off with your right hand on the B 